Here on Rip Off Britain, we might talk quite a lot about the devastating fallouts from scams or investments that have gone wrong. But you know, sometimes it's the smaller, everyday gripes you tell us about that really drive you up the wall. Well, the issue at the heart of our next story is exactly one of those. And the people at the centre of it say that the actions of others are frankly making their daily lives a misery. And in some cases, even putting them in danger. So, determined not to put up with the problem, they decided to take matters into their own hands. Across England... I just can't get past. It does frustrate me here. Yeah. There's a battle raging on our streets. You can't get down there. Someone would have to stop and go out into the road and put themselves at risk. Leaving tempers frayed and nerves shot. Just don't block the pavement because we can't get out and about and this is our independence. And the issue driving people so mad? Pavement parking. Now, at first glance, this may not look like too much of a problem. But if you're disabled, or indeed anybody that needs to have a clear, uninterrupted way through on a pavement, then suddenly coming up against a blockage, or like this, a car that is taking up half of the pavement, well, that can throw up all sorts of problems. As Sarah Ledbetter from Narborough in Leicestershire knows better than most, she's visually impaired and registered blind. Along with her guide dog, Kiki, she says she's been finding it increasingly hard to get around the streets where she lives. Sarah, this is a lovely old part of the village, isn't it? You're just it coming is. up to a step down here onto the pavement now. Yeah, yeah. There you Thank go. You. We've come onto a lovely wide piece of pavement in a very narrow road, but my goodness, look at all the cars that are actually parked on the pavement. You must come across this all the time, do you? I do, it's all the time, and it's very difficult to get out and about independently. How are you going to cope with this? There's not 12 inches between the wall and the car there. It's very difficult. We can't get past at all, so we have to go up to the car. And we do a certain sequence where she finds the way and does that a couple of times. And then we know there's uh, something in the way. We have to go round the edge of the car. And if there's a couple of cars, we have to keep doing that until we can find a safe piece of pavement to go up onto. Sarah says she and Kiki have to navigate their way around the parked cars on a daily basis. You're right in the middle of the road, there's a bend behind, a car parked on that part of the pavement. You're going to have to walk down the middle of the road with the prospect not only of cars behind, but also cars coming up towards you. That's really dangerous, isn't it? It is, yes. It's very dangerous, isn't it? And I don't feel safe doing it. But you have to. Yes, yeah, I have to do it all the time. Otherwise, we can't actually go to the shops or to go in the other parts of the village. Or we just wouldn't go anywhere. Well, I'm going to join Kiki in being your guide. <laughs> she can do the work, I'll look out for the traffic. Shall we make our yes, way down? Yes, thank you. I'm shocked to see what Sarah is having to deal with. It's not just one side of the road. Both pavements have cars parked on them. It's so narrow. In a way, it's a kind of double whammy. It's bad for you, but mm. they've got nowhere to park either. They couldn't park on the road, could they? I do have some sympathy for them, but I just want a little bit of room so I can walk safely on the pavement so I don't have to walk into the road. And it's not just Sarah that's frustrated. Several other residents of the village told us they were fed up with it too. Basically, the pavement should be a right of way for a pedestrian. It makes it extremely difficult for the residents, especially for the young mums taking their children to school. The parking has got worse, um, particularly since the railway station opened and started charging. People just dump their cars rather than considerately parking. But the situation here is typical of most of England. The local council has no powers to remove vehicles and can only issue parking tickets in areas where no waiting restrictions apply. Any serious obstruction can only be dealt with by the police. But pavement parking isn't a new issue. It's been causing problems across the UK for decades. In 1982, the government launched a campaign to try and put a stop to it. When you park your car on the pavement, even for the shortest time, it can be a nuisance and a danger to pedestrians, especially to old or disabled people. Or the blind. Or pram pushers. So when you park your car, Please, leave the pavement for pedestrians. But nearly 40 years later, and the problem hasn't gone away. 
In fact, a recent survey suggested that 65% of motorists admit to parking on pavements at some point. Doug Pawley from Weatherby in West Yorkshire wants to see the law changed. <laughs> Righty ho. As an electric wheelchair user, he finds it incredibly difficult to navigate the cars that are parked on the pavements around his home. Explain to me what happens when you're out in your wheelchair, you come up against a car. What happens? Quite a lot of the time around here, the pavements are quite narrow, so I just can't get past. That means that I've either got to go out into the busy road and work my way around and try and stay safe, or I have to try and attract the attention of whoever car it is. Um, sometimes I call the police and they eventually come. Which is what happened in this incident two years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not great, is it? Really? No, that's terrible, that's terrible, that. But that can take, you know, an hour or more. It's, it's very frustrating. Doug believes the only way things will change is if pavement parking is completely banned, as it has been in London since 1974. In the capital, if a car is parked on any part of the pavement, then police can issue fines. It's a similar situation in Scotland, where pavement parking was banned in 2019. But elsewhere in the UK, there is no such law. Does it frustrate you to think that the police can't do any more than that, actually, at the moment? I don't get why it should suddenly be easier and or less stringent if you don't live in London. It's, it's, it does frustrate me, yeah. Well, outside of the capital and in Scotland, though it may not be illegal to park on pavements, it is against the law to cause an obstruction. And Merseyside Police is one force that started to clamp down on drivers doing this. Even so, Paul Mountford from the Merseyside Road Safety Partnership says he'd like greater powers to stop the problem. The law could be more straightforward. It's an offence to drive onto a pavement, so if we can actually speak to a driver who's driven onto a pavement, then the driver can be given a notice. But in the cases where we find a car that's been left unattended, uh, unless there's an obstruction caused by that car, or it's parked in what we say is a dangerous position, we can't really act on that vehicle at all. But Paul and his colleague Gavin will take action when they consider a car is causing an obstruction, such as blocking the way for pedestrians or wheelchair users like this red BMW. We've got this vehicle, which is half on its drive, half blocking the pavement. And then this one's adding to the problem. This looks like it's almost been abandoned right on the corner with an overhanging bush blocking the main part of the pavement. You should either be parking it on the road like everybody else, so at least the pavement is clear. I think we need to have a chat with the owner and just have a, give him some advice about how to park his vehicle either better on his driveway or using the road. And a door knock from the law has the desired effect. The red BMW driver moves his car and is let off with a warning. Paul and Gavin were not able to track down the owner of the black Nissan, which, with no tax or insurance, has potentially been dumped. On this occasion, they leave the car with a warning notice on it. But if it stays where it is and the keeper doesn't come forward, it will eventually be moved. Further down the road, and it's clear to see why drivers are using the pavement to park. This is a good example of a typical uh, residential street, I guess, in Liverpool and across Merseyside, fairly narrow. Everyone's got one or two cars, parking space is limited. The officers say most people here have parked, leaving enough space for pedestrians to pass, but it's not hard to see the ones that concern them. The gap is tiny. You can't get down there with a motability scooter. Someone would have to stop and go out into the road and put themselves at risk, and that's not what we want people to have to do. Once again, the owner is convinced to move their vehicle and just given a warning. But sometimes a chat isn't enough. Down at the docks and the team come across the worst parking of the day. Now, there's one vehicle in particular who's parked right on top of the junction. He's reversed onto the pavement, making it difficult for pedestrians to walk around and rejoin the pavement once they've crossed the junction. The position of the vehicle as well is also potentially dangerous for other cars coming out the junction as well. So a ticket is probably the right measure today rather than giving advice. In 2020, Merseyside Police issued dozens of tickets for pavement obstruction. Back in Leicester, and Sarah wants to see more action like this taken by police forces right across the country. In May 2020, she set up the hashtag pavements for pedestrians campaign with Doug to try and persuade the government to introduce new legislation in England that will allow local authorities right across the country to ban parking outright on pavements in problem areas. 
Would you actually like to see it made illegal for cars to be able to park on a pavement? Yes, in some instances, but not all areas can be off the pavement, can they? Because it'd be a bottleneck, especially in very old villages and very old streets. So where it can be done, yes, make it illegal for a bid to park on pavement. So in those areas where it isn't possible, at least perhaps other provisions can be made. Exactly, yeah. And it seems the government is listening. A consultation is underway to consider a ban on pavement parking in England. But it's a complex issue, as Nick Lies from the RAC explains. The problem is, is that if you go for a blanket ban, pavement parking it's likely to be impractical so for example many residential streets in the UK are extremely narrow so they have to park on the street what we think is probably a better solution is to look at giving councils up and down the country additional powers uh, to enforce this and you really need to look at giving drivers as well a a piece of guidance that states how much space they should be leaving if they do park slightly on the pavement. And if they can't leave that space, then they shouldn't be parking there. The issue of pavement parking does seem to be gaining some traction. As well as the consultation in England, in 2019, a task force was put together by the Welsh government to look at the issue. And back in 2017, the police service Northern Ireland ran a campaign on the issue. Well, it's certainly something we're going to be keeping a close eye on. As for Sarah, well, she's not going to let it lie either. Just don't block completely the pavement because we can't get out and about and this is our independence. <laughs> <laughs>